Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. Thank you all for reaching out over the last few intros. Some have thought I've been down here a little bit too long and was cracking up, but that's not the case. Cinnamon Toast crunches and will remain crispy. Today, we're going to be finishing the last part of the main Start Migrate PS1 script, where we're going to be uh, removing the Intune and Autopilot objects from the old tenant. I can assure you, a VHS tape is not the same thing as a sandwich. Unbelievable. Okay, so we're going to open up our Start Migrate PS1. If you recall, the last thing we did was after we broke through the provisioning package and the bulk primary refresh token, we uh, are, are installing that as part of step nine. That puts the device in tenant B. So before we delete the objects from tenant A, let me just kind of remind, it, remind you where we got the objects from. So back in step three, I hope it's step three. It is. Look, I remember we were getting a bunch of info about the device based on its serial number. So in this case, we use the uh, tenant A graph app registration. Um, all of this is in the previous series. So if you missed any of it or if you're looking for step by step on how we built all this out and why and how it works, um, that's all available on the channel here. Um, so we have the autopilot ID, the group tag, we have the Intune object we got the Intune ID so really it's the Intune and autopilot IDs we need to get rid of and we have those and we're still authenticated to the graph so what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically let's do this right host moving device objects from and we'll put the tenant name tenant and we'll say tenant and then we will write host attempting to remove uh do we have the computer name yeah i think we also just call it host name Oh, no, we're just calling it computer name. Okay. To remove computer name oop, don't you, from temp. Okay, now let's go ahead and attempt to do that. So if the Intune ID is equal to null. Now here's the thing with that. Um, yeah, see, PowerShell complains. They like null on the outside. Null should be on the left side. I never do that. I don't like to. So first, we're just checking to see if it's there or not. Because in some situations, uh, the right now, we're, we're making a lot of assumptions. We're assuming the device and the source tenant is Azure AD join and Intune manage. While that is the case on which we are building this now, in the future, your source um, your device might exist in several states in the source tenant. It might be co-managed, it might be domain joined or hybrid joined. So by checking these things, it allows us to not have to modify this later. So in the event we don't have an Intune ID, we can absolutely just skip this part. Although it's not gonna make sense right now. So it's just think of it as a simple check. Um, right host, we can say um, the uh, device is not enrolled to into. Okay. Else, you know, we're going to proceed. So we're going to say else, right host, uh, tempting, okay, it has device. Actually, we don't have to write anything here. We're just gonna begin the try catch. So the try catch, basically, we're gonna do invoke rest method. Method is going to be a delete. Our URI is going to be https .graph .microsoft .com slash 
beta slash device management. Remember, this is the Intune node management. This is going to be manage devices. Manage devices. And we're going to put in our, our Intune ID. Okay. And that's going to do it. And we are going to say headers. Remember, that lets us authenticate. Oh. Headers. Okay, so we're deleting that. And then once we delete it, uh, we're basically saying uh, we're going to give it a minute. And actually, let's write the host. Write host um, to make sure it went through. I'll add a start sleep. Sleep seconds to write host. Intune object. Actually, let's just do this. Computer name removed from Intune. Tip. Okay, what we'll do is we'll just catch the error if that happens. So we'll say right host. Computer name uh, failed to delete from uh, tenants into tenant. Okay, and then we'll try to output that error. Um, Let's do status code and we'll just pipe out whatever it gives back. Exception response. Exception response status code value. And we are going to do the same thing essentially for autopilot. So we can just take this whole piece and make a few adjustments. So if the autopilot ID is equal to null, device is not registered. I like those terms. It's not enrolled to autopilot, it's registered. Device is not registered to autopilot. So now we'll invoke that delete method. That's going to be on a different call, though. That's going to be on the autopilot node to device management. It's going to be Windows autopilot device identities. And we're going to pass the autopilot ID. Autopilot ID. Uh, Remove from autopilot. Autopilot. Okay, fair enough. That's going to give us what we need there. Uh, okay, you know what? Just to clean these up a little bit, um, I want to redo the errors here to make them a little more performance. I'm going to basically make a variable called message and I'm going to leave that as dollar underscore and then we're going to write the host out in the event of an error. We're going to write a warning. Error deleting. Uh, we're gonna say error deleting uh, computer name from tenant into tenant, and we're gonna pipe out the message that it has, and we're gonna do the same thing down here. Makes it a little more compact. From there we go. All right, that um, that is that part of step ten. And in the final piece here, I'm comfortable actually blocking 
that out because that's its own thing. Um, and then all we do in the very end is uh, we're going to reboot the device. So uh, we're going to do that with a simple right post rebooting device. Actually, we can say pre-migration steps complete rebooting device in 30 seconds. Okay, and we're just going to do a shutdown RT30. And then we will stop the transcripts. Congratulations, we finished the start migrate PS1 script, which is the primary orchestrator for the whole NT intended to tenant device migration. Next time, we're going to take a look at uh, some tasks. Uh, we're gonna, all the tasks we set, we're going to take a closer look at how they work, what scripts they set. They're pretty simple and it's a, it's a simple cadence, right? Task script, test script. Um, so we should be able to go through them all together. Or not. One.